Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to talk about a very cool tool that has been around for about 10 years now, but they're about to have their next launch and that is Spin Rewriter. Now in the Spin Rewriter review, I'm gonna be showing you how I use Spin Rewriter, giving you some ideas of what you could use Spin Rewriter for and just giving you a general overview of this particular type of tool. Now, I know a lot of people have probably never used spinning tools before or potentially you don't think they're a very good thing, but it's quite the opposite. It's extremely extremely handy tool to have in your tool belt if you are a marketer or a blogger or anyone that's really into online marketing. Now I've been using Spin Rewriter for a little while now um, and it's a very, very powerful tool. Now there's a few things that Spin Rewriter does that other software out there doesn't do. And one of them that I really like is actually allowing you to have all of the spin tags and everything still in one place. So if you have another application that needs it already um, pre-made to be spun, then you can copy and paste it into there. Now that can be a little bit confusing, but I'll show you exactly what I mean um, when I jump behind the screen soon. But having that feature is very handy. I've looked for many other tools and that's actually how I found Spin Rewriter. Um, what it happened was I was looking for a um, particular tool that could leave all of the spin tags inside of there, not just spin an article and give you the end result. And um, yeah, this is exactly what Spin Rewriter did for me. Now there might be various applications and why you need a spin, uh, a write, rewriting tool, <laughs> it's a tongue twister, why you need a rewriting tool. One of them could be for market research, right? Potentially you have a couple of articles out there that you just need to get online so you just quickly grab bits and pieces from different websites put it together um, spin it all up so it's unique and put it on the website maybe you are a web developer uh, maybe you're creating some websites that you can use as templates or maybe placeholder text things like that instead of just having the lorem ipsum or whatever it's called you could actually grab some similar content spin it up so it's nice and unique and then put it on the website so it can sit there um, i find that is one of the most things that people get actually stuck with with web design is actually finding good copy um, or even having placeholder text and people get confused it's a it's a really big annoying thing <laughs> i've done it before um, but that's a really good application to have it and if you're using particular types of tools anyway like I was which was why that I actually found this tool um, things like uh, if you're into Instagram automation things like Javi and mass planner things like that um, you need to have spin tax in there right but sometimes you just don't have the brain capacity to go through and find different variations for the spin tax so instead what you could actually do is just use spin rewriter write a couple of phrases or whatever your message is and then it's going to give you all of the variations and in that regards I think that is the most powerful part of it so Spin Rewriter, it's an amazing tool. Um, it's actually very well priced as well. At the moment, it's $77 for an entire year's worth of use. So that's for an unlimited as well, which is really powerful. There is also some add-ons that you can purchase if you wish as well, um, but I'll talk about those in a little bit. So anyway, what I'm gonna do right now is now I've given you a bit of an overview of what Spin Rewriter does, I'm actually gonna show you. So I'm gonna go ahead, log into my account, and I'm gonna show you what this powerful tool does. Okay, so here we are on the homepage of Spin Rewriter. Um, I probably should have mentioned just before as well, there is a free trial to actually test out the software. You'll get the same amount of functionality that I have right now. Um, I've left a link in the description. If you use that, you'll be helping support the channel and I thank you very much. Um, so just to uh, point out right now as well, we are currently on Spin Rewriter 10, but I believe in two weeks, November the 11th, uh, might be slightly more than two weeks, um, they are actually releasing Spin Rewriter 11, which is really cool. But just keep in mind, it doesn't matter if you purchase now or later, you're always gonna have the up-to-date version, so there's nothing to freak out about. They just like to have big launches each time they have a huge update, so that's why that's there. So this is Spin Rewriter. Um, it's, it's been around for about 10 years. It's sold over like $10 million worth, right? It's a, it's a very cool tool. This is just the homepage I'm scrolling around. Um, but basically that's all I wanted to show you. Once again, here is the pricing just so you get it. Um, five day free trial, $77 a year or 47 a month, which is probably not worth your time. Um, or 500 for a single payment lifetime. That's up to you. Um, but I just use the $77 a year. So this is the back office. As you can see, I've got a license until October the 14th next year, which is really cool. Um, but basically what I'm gonna show you is how this software works. So first of all, we wanna to come to the rewrite section of the article, of the page, sorry. And this is gonna bring us to this article section, right? 
So for an example's sake, let's just pretend that I'm looking to rewrite an article about the importance of dog walking, right? So I found this article here. Um, just a reminder, it's best not to just copy and paste someone else's work, spin it and then upload it. Um, I mainly use this for testing purposes, but if you absolutely have to do it, the option is there. I highly recommend always creating unique uh, content though. So keep that in mind. So once again, let's just pretend I'm going to rewrite this article. If this is your own article as well, a lot of people use this particular tool just to freshen up their articles if it makes sense. You know, you've already got your keyword written article researched and everything and it may be two, three years old now. You could update it or you could create a fresh new piece of art, uh, content just by spinning it. Um, and a lot of people actually do that, so it's quite powerful. But for this example, I'm just going to copy this article. I'm going to paste it into here like so um, and you just want to come through quickly and have a, a little look at it just to make sure everything's looking quite well um, like this little error here I don't know why that's there so I'll just quickly remove that but looking through it it looks it all it all looks pretty good and ready to go um, if you want to change the the punctuation and everything to your own you know um, countries sort of thing it's all there Anyway, so now that it's all looking pretty good, um, what we wanna do is come to the bottom left and we have here a settings tab, right? And if you click on that, it's gonna bring up a few important options. Now, to be honest, I haven't actually used this level of um, spinning and rewriting yet. It basically talks about rewriting sentences, paragraphs, new paragraphs, all this little sort of different stuff. Um, but for me, I actually just leave this entire tab and I just come to the second one, which is words and phrases. And what I recommend doing in here, as I already played with it, is actually just coming in here and writing your um, primary keywords and your secondary keywords, right? So hopefully if you guys are watching this, you know a little bit about SEO. If you don't, basically um, your primary keyword is the keyword you wanna rank for. Secondary keywords are supporting keywords. So for this example, I could have like dog walking, um, walking the dog. I could just have dog's health, you know, dog. I could have walking. Um, things like that so you just want to write as many of the most important keywords as you, as you can uh, think of inside of here and what this is going to do is it's not going to rewrite these particular phrases or words so um, that's a very important thing there's also advanced settings here um, if you want to use those but to be honest i don't i know a lot of people get really technical and use this multi-level nested spinning um, but for me personally i just use this so I'm gonna go ahead and go okay. As things are ready to go, um, what I'm gonna do right now is actually rewrite this article. So it's only gonna take a matter of moments and this next step is actually the one that I've used the most. Um, so I don't actually complete the articles. What instead I do is I create, I, I, I copy the fully spun with Spintax versions, right? So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, as you can see though, this, this entire process is ex extremely quick, right? 15 seconds and it's going to create variations of all of your entire text. So let's get into the fun stuff. Now I've actually just finished shooting another video called Yive. I don't know if you guys have um, seen it. It's a, it's pretty much a YouTube, um, video creating automated, um, empire type type tool it's really 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 powerful the only issue is um, it makes bulk videos but if you don't spin them properly using all the spin tax um, they're gonna eventually get flagged as it's bad news and it's just the same content being respun basically so allowing it to have this particular type of information what i actually do is i just copy this right i copy all of this and then i paste it into yive job done and the same goes for tools like javi i also did a review on javi a little while ago um, but basically what i would do is write like a direct email message inside of inside of the last step and then i would send it into this step which is the second part which is the select your keywords phrases and then what this is going to do is it's going to respin everything for you in this type of format so you don't have to go through and think of different words that could replace other words using spin tax so this one part alone is why i actually bought this tool um, but now i see how powerful it is i'm going to use it also for article rewriting and things like that so basically if we come through here now that i've sort of got that out the way um, it's a really powerful step that um, a lot of people don't know about 
But anyway, here we can come through, we can see what types of um, words are around there. You know, we can see what they're uh, swapping things in and out for. Basically what we can check is making sure that they don't uh, rewrite or spin our words that we want. So as you can see, it's left walking and dog there, so it's not gonna rewrite this one. Um, and it's leaving everything sort of out that we want it to. So you just wanna come through and check it. If something needs changing, all you need to do is come back to settings and add them into here, press OK, and then press one click rewrite, and you can just save a lot more of your own um, your own text, right? So once you've done that a number of times to make sure that everything's good, as you can see here on the uniqueness scale, we've got billions of possible versions, and it's 99% unique, so you don't have to worry about anything like that, guys. It's gonna be a completely unique article. And then finally, all you do is press finalize article, and it's gonna take us to the next step, which is very, very cool. Okay, so here we are, we've got the final step, which is step three, and this one we can actually uh, start creating unique versions of our articles, right? It's a, it's a very cool thing um, that it actually does. And basically what you do is you just press generate a new article, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna come through and give you uh, one of each selection of all of these different spin tax series, and it's gonna create a unique article. And then if you want another one, just simply press it again, right? And there's settings in here so you can automate the entire process as well. Very, very powerful, right? But I'll just show you exactly what it does. So I'm gonna click generate a new article. And if we scroll down below, um, here we actually have our article. You see the, all the spin tax and everything's gone. And now we have got a 91% unique article. And that's extremely powerful considering it's only a five or 600 word, or well, sorry, 700 word article, right? So um, in terms of that, that's a perfect type of uh, example how you can just quickly spin an article, you can copy and paste it, put it on your website. If it's just to test it, if it's just a placeholder, things like that, it's gonna be completely fine being there. Um, eventually though, you wanna go back and rewrite it. If it's your own article and you're rewriting your own article, it doesn't matter. Um, everything will be fine then because it's on the same sort of area. One good way to actually check if you wanna make sure that everything's unique um, is you can link it to your copy scrape account and then you can just press this button and it'll do the search for you as well which is really cool. Now, there is actually some add-ons that come with Spin Rewriter that I haven't mentioned yet. And one of them is a WordPress plugin. So this WordPress plugin here, this is actually gonna cost another $47 for life. So it's just a one-time fee. Um, but what it can actually do is give you a plugin that with one click of a button inside of your WordPress dashboard, you can actually rewrite your articles. I even believe they're working on a scheduler so you can um, reschedule your articles every three months. I think it may even be out, which is really cool. So let's just say you wanted article to go, uh, you wanted content to be uh, continuously posted, but you just didn't have time to create new content. If you already had uh, something like 20 or 50 articles, you know, it can just go through and keep spinning them so you can still keep posting at least once a month or once a week or whatever your time frame is, right? So there's so many different applications for this. Basically, I bought this for one job, one job only, and that was for step two, having all of this, um, all of this unique sp pre-spun content ready to be pasted into other platforms. Um, this alone has already saved me hundreds of hours, all right? It's a, it's a powerful, powerful tool, um, but you can also create all these as well, which is even more powerful as well. So basically that's Spin Rewriter, guys. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually just gonna jump behind the camera. Um, I'm just gonna say a few extra things. Okay, so that was Spin Rewriter. You can see how powerful it is, and it is one of these tools where if you have a purpose for it, it's gonna save you so much time. And if you don't really have a purpose for it, then you know there's not really much need to actually get it. But if you are a user of Yive, of Javi, Mass Planner, any of these types of automation tools where you need to have a, um, a series of spin tax in there to make everything unique, this is a priceless tool to your toolkit right now because it's gonna save you so much time, right? It's gonna save you so much time and keep everything nice and unique, which is gonna keep your accounts nice and safe. If you're a blogger, this is also a great tool. If you're a web designer, this is also going to be a very powerful tool for you. I know I'm going to be using it for future clients' projects um, because just it can get the text out there nice and quickly and then they can change it later on. Having placeholder text and thinking of it can sometimes be a real pain in the butt. Apart from that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Spin Rewriter, and the Spin Rewriter review um, was based on just over a month's worth of use. A very powerful tool. Once again, if you want to grab the trial, there is a link in the description. If you decide to buy, you'll also be helping support this channel at no extra cost to you. And apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more epic videos. There's also a bunch of free stuff in the description. Go check that out. And thanks for coming, guys. I'll see you on the next video.